Recently I reviewed a robot that could mow your lawn and I was pretty excited about it because it really did a good job, but one of my viewers commented that I should check out another robot that claimed it could do weeding in your garden. Now that's pretty amazing because it's a complex task for any machine to do. So I reached out to the company that makes the product called Turtle. This is a fully autonomous robot that's designed so that your backyard vegetable garden is a lot less work. We're going to look at the machine in detail, but the more important test is we're going to put it in a real vegetable garden and see if it can keep it weed free. It's made by Franklin Robotics right here in Massachusetts. Now you might not know that company, but you definitely know the guy that works there. He's actually the original creator of the Roomba robot. The design of this thing is really cool. You can keep it outside permanently, you can get wet, muddy, none of that matters. It's also self-powered. It's got a built-in solar panel along with a battery. So even if you have multiple days with no sun, it'll still keep working. And everything you need is included in the box. You get the robot, these metal fence guides, along with basic instructions and some spare parts to keep you going. So you're probably wondering, how does this little robot actually kill weeds? It doesn't use chemicals, electricity, or anything else that could be harmful. They placed a tiny weed whacker underneath the robot, and by using this and going around your garden, it will identify the weeds and then hack them down. Now you might be thinking the weeds will just grow right back, and you're absolutely right, but the difference with a robot is, is it never stops, and it'll cut them down every single day. And when this is done repeatedly, eventually the weed seeds use up their energy and they stop growing. And even the wheels can help prevent weeds. Now they're designed to give good grip, but they also are designed to break up the thin layer of the surface to prevent any weed seeds from germinating. And even though the robot doesn't have eyes, it can still figure out what's a weed and what's a vegetable. It does it by using a special sensor in the front bumper. If the plant is taller than about two inches, Turtle will leave it alone. But if it's under that height, it will go ahead and hack it down. Now that works perfect for weeds that are just growing. Now if you're gonna put this in an existing vegetable garden, you will have to weed the larger plants. But as you can see in this garden, we had lots of small weeds that would have been a real pain to get rid of. But some of those plants were not actually weeds and we wanted them to grow. So when they're real small, that's where you use those metal guards. You just place them around the plant that you want to protect and turtle will not bother it at all. And then once they reach their full height, you can remove the guards. And you can use the robot in pretty large gardens. They can be 10 feet by up to 20 feet, but your garden will have to have some sort of an edge. Now that can be a fence, brick, stone, or anything that allows the robot to know where the boundaries are. Now it's time to put this robot to the test. So I boxed it up and I took it to a friend of mine's house that has a vegetable garden that could use a little bit of help. Now this is not a large garden, but the robot will still work just fine. Now as you can see here, there's a lot of small weeds along with some bigger ones. Now you're gonna have to pull those big ones to start because the robot would think that they were actually plants you wanted to keep. And there was no setup for this robot, I just put it in the space and turned it on. Now my friend kept a pretty close eye on it to make sure it was working, but more importantly to see how it was doing with the weed control. And here's an example of what happens when Turtle bumps into an adult plant. It leaves it alone and it just goes and keeps searching for weeds that it can cut down. And this is what the garden looked like on day one. It had quite a few weeds and these are just going to get worse if you don't keep regularly weeding it. But with the robot underway, you could see that the work was starting to happen. Now what was amazing was by day three, the garden really started to transform and all the weeds began to disappear. And the robot just kept going and that's important because the weeds are not going to stop trying to grow. And the garden kept looking good and after three weeks the garden looked amazing. You would think that someone was out there hand weeding this thing all day long. If you hate weeding this robot is absolutely perfect but it does come at a price. Now it's just under $400 so this is not an inexpensive purchase. This is definitely a cool piece of technology that could actually do the job that they advertise. So even if you don't have a garden, hopefully you enjoyed this video, got to see something that you may not have even known existed. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.